May 22nd, 2018. Team I discovers the Harvester HQ, a huge city full of incredible builds. The team of griefers gives Harvester a choice. Either pay 20 totems to Team I, or have their base obliterated. Harvester, knowing their base is done for, denies the payment. Five days later, the base stands in ruins. But not before Harvester reaches out to me for a base tour. This video stands as a memorial to the hard work and dedication of Harvester, and it's a reminder that although builds may fall, the memories and fun times had while creating them are never lost. Welcome to Harvester HQ. Alright, so we are here in the Harvester base with Hunt Peanut and Pimpsy, and they are going to lead us around the Harvester base and show us everything before it gets completely uh, demolished, unfortunately. So where are we right now, Hunt? Where are we? Alright, so I call this the World Tree. The World Simply, Tree. Simply, yeah. Actually, I don't really call it that, but, you know, it sounds good. <laughs> was it like a Valentine's Day thing? There's a lot of hearts. Well, it was... It was... I'll let Pepsi talk about it. Yeah, um, originally it was a Christmas tree. Um, I think Maide, or however you pronounce it, made it. And it was for Christmas, but, um, we decorated it for Valentine's. Okay, okay. So it's kind of a seasonal tree. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. So you can climb up all the way to the top, and that's actually a good place to get a view of everything. Whoa, there's a squid so, named Beatrix. That's been there since I don't know when. <laughs> I sort of feel like we got here and it was there. It, it's just always lived here. It, you invaded yes, it's, its house. Been. So about so, how many right members here. live here? Or did live here at one point? KMC probably knows that better than I do. Um, uh, I have a rough estimate. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably about 10 people built here, and maybe a little more, I'm not sure. Okay, alright. Is that most of Harvester, or is that just a small portion of it? Oh, no, that's just a portion. Okay. Yeah. This I built to function as a stables type deal. It was a fun little little deal. It looks nice. I like it. So if you don't know, Harvester is one of like the, the biggest skills on here. They're, they're known mostly for their buildings and you, you can see why. There's a bunch of huge buildings around here and they all look super epic. And this right here is their um, banner, their guild logo sort of. I actually took a hiatus from the group and from the server and, and all, but and then I came back and it's like, oh yeah, we've got more people now because I was here <laughs> when it was just like Bone Chiller, uh, yeah. Mighty Months. Uh, oh, me. Bone Chiller was on this? Yeah, Bone Chiller He's was an like old player. one of the first people in the group. Dang. He was like the owner of Harvestar? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> did he and create then, it? Yeah. Oh, well, it was a I did not know that. Group creation, but Bone Chiller was like the poster child, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the poster child. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was a, the one is like, oh, who runs Harvester? I was like, oh, it's Bone Chiller, but really, it's everybody. This tower right here is actually an iron farm, or it was at one point until it got messed up. This blue. One over here is another one of Yule's creations. The, the Harvester Flamingos! Hey! Yeah. And there's those. And the birds that I talked about prior uh, that were making the creeper sounds used to reside here. With the but birds? Oh. They aren't here. The yeah, dinner bone flamingo. That's yeah. great. Up in front here. Holy! Is, or was the community storage. And our banner again in the center. On the floor. Oh, that's great. Wow. This, this room once used to be filled with chests. So was this opposite room over here. Are these blocks correlating to what was in the chests across from them? At one point, yes. Okay. And then if you'll follow me down these stairs, be careful not to fall down the middle. 
That looks a little bit dangerous. There used to be a slime block at the bottom. But I bet you can guess who took that away. <laughs> so they got all the, the chests from the community storage as well then? Yes. Unfortunately, they did not do a very nice thing. And, like, I'm okay with raiding. Sure, raid. All you want. But the second that you destroy chests and leave items on the ground oh. just to rot and disappear, that sort of gets on my nerves. Yeah. So this is our pit. Holy cow! Uh, we had some slime farms. We had some uh, chorus fruit farms. Over here, with the uh, the yellow, black, and stone brick, we had. Uh, if you follow me, you can come back this way. You can see that we oh had my gosh. three separate creeper farms, but in all reality, it was everything farm. This is the back of Yule's mansion. Gosh, you guys are crazy. Yeah, we had fun. That's, that's what it was. But uh, w one of the probably most recent, most interesting uh, events that we held for just the group was this over here. It took me like three days, two or three days to convert this this chunk of land up here into basically a desert biome. You guys built sand castles? Yeah, I hosted no a way. sand castle thing. Oh my gosh. That's such a cool idea. So they had a week and if more people had been more active, it would have been a whole lot more fun. Uh, but yep, they had a that... week to build. That's and such a cool idea. That's awesome. And he seems to have a little... Oh dang, I've never even been up here. Oh, this is adorable. Well, why is the why is there a huge block of grass right here? Uh, well, if you have pump down here, you will find. No way! A whole maze. Second maze. There's it's oh, there's like layers. Little maze. Oh my gosh! I've I think I've tried it once or twice but you're welcome to give it a go <laughs> that's really cool to have it a base I think if we had ever actually gotten everybody together and made a plan for like medieval town or something it might have gone a little bit better but I think it's kind of cool to have the random builds all over the place, though. It's just so full. I, I guess that's the heart of Minecraft, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Little random builds. Nothing sticking together like it should. <laughs> is this dirt? No, this is wood. I'm not used to this texture pack. <laughs> Pimpsy, is this your house? Um, no, I haven't built yet yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That might have been Midas. <gasps> there's little cats and dogs. There's a chicken. <gasps> there's a baby chicken. No, they're ducks. <gasps> oh my gosh. Pimpsy, you can tell them about your uh, Cheeto cat. <laughs> yeah, I think Humphrey built that one for me. Um, he has switch color and I said orange. I think he built all of those. It's so cute. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my gosh, that's uh, so adorable. Can you render in the dragon yet, or? He built the dragon here? I thought that was somewhere else. Oh no. Here, follow me, I got the fastest way. I thought he built it at some castle for somebody else. Some castle? Yeah, Yule's castle. That was for you. Oh. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I've wanted to see this in person for so long. No so way. fire hydrant. Dog. Cat. This is a ducks. toy. Humphrey's giant dragon. 
No way. So from here, we can go over right here and sort of tour Yule's castle. Oh, I like the plants. Love the big banner. Yeah, the uh, the castle itself is pretty unfinished on the inside, but there's a couple of rooms here and there. Uh, actually, while we're over here, let's head up these stairs over here. This place is so massive, it's crazy. You could easily lose yourself in some spots. Yeah. Yeah. I get lost in it sometimes. <laughs> So this house, I was just looking at it recently, and it's completely fake, but it looked pretty cool. Uh, Seal likes to make Japanese-style houses. That's what I was going to say, it does look very Japanese. And here's the uh, ever-so-sought-after statue. Holy cow. Oh, I want to get a view of this. Jeez. Who built this one? Is that Humphrey? Oh, no, that was friend. That was friend? <laughs> My gosh. Bitch, that took a little while. <laughs> I bet so. He likes making things like that. So there's that, and then there's the oddly flesh-colored tower or whatever. <laughs> the flesh-colored tower. I don't know if it's the same color for you on your texture pack, but the base texture texture pack, it looks so flesh-colored. Yeah, it's a little more white on mine, but yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I think one of them was planning on building something here. It looks like it never came to fruition. Oh, uh, there's a little cozy see. house up there. Yeah, that's what I built. Oh, yeah? That was uh, one of the things where it's... I built it on another server prior to it, but then I'm like, man, this is perfect for, like, beginner houses, like fancy-looking beginner houses. Mm-hmm. Whoa. There's enough, enough space Some inside. Stuff. Wait. Okay, I saw a name tag and it's just that squid. Yeah, that gets me every time. <laughs> but I based it sort of off a uh, Viking slash Norse design. MTV cribs. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's got a got an interior and a little sort of. What do you call it? A loft or whatever you want to call it up top. That's really cute. Is that yours as well over there? Yeah, that was first thing I built here. Just to house everything. Mm -hmm. It's okay looking. It ain't my best, but it functions. Better than what I could do. Is that glowstone? Yeah. That looks really weird. I do not like that. Why? On the texture pack? Yeah, it looks... What the heck? It looks like cheese. Looks like cheese. <laughs> it does. There you go. Did you download the wrong one? Oh, man, <laughs> no. I got the mouse Dang check. Dang it, it's the pack. cheese texture pack. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. If you, if you got a thing for eating glowstone, then by all means. Nom, 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 nom. But, uh, I had an auto furnace here, which functioned pretty good, but they took everything. They funny took your auto though, furnace? Yeah. What? But, uh, funny thing is, they never touched the, uh, the nano farm. Hey, that's a lot of bone meal. Ooh, there's some Japanese thing down there. Oh, yeah, that's another of Seal's creations. Oh, you didn't show Humpy's house of color? Oh, I haven't. Yeah. Oh, have the famous that. house of color. Building yep, site, Mike Nelson. And made a cool little sort of town deal back here. Oh, I like that. This place, if you go too deep into this, like, church, you will get turned around. 
it's just hard to get unlost. Jeez, you got the pews and everything. Uh, I don't know how long it took them to do this because, like, literally one day, this was just you know a little place, and then the next, it's like a pop-up city, man. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam, it was there. So the basement down in this building was where Humphrey ran his his store. Mm. And I bet you if they found it, it's in ruins. Probably. Is this the house of colors you were talking about? Fancy. Uh, oh, it's not destroyed. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Wow. Oh, what did they do here? Oh yeah, they did that. It wasn't part of the structure. <laughs> Are <laughs> you this sure? Just a little out I of place. Sworn that was how it was meant to be. <laughs> uh, there was actually a squid spawner down here. Oh, they took that out as well. Yeah, they broke it. So, this is this the house of colors you were talking about, Vincy? <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah. stuff. The legendary. He did. Do you know why he left? It was so random and he didn't give any reasoning. Basically, we saw that post on the forum and it's like, I'm done. Hmm, it's yeah. Like, nobody's friends anymore. Everybody wants to destroy each other. Yeah. But, so. The last thing I think I want to show you that I know of that there is to show, uh, and over here on the left is one of Seal's houses. He really likes Another. his Japanese ones. Yeah, this is a fancier uh, nano farm. Wow, this is big. I think Mike Nelson also made this. Wow. Jeez, this is cool. Dude's really good at building. Yeah, he is. There's like a pool in the middle. Oh, th these would look so cool with the uh, end crystals on top of them. It would. But... Wow, I like this a lot. I think he actually transformed or copied a uh, desert temple. If you look oh. at how the sides are, this is the same as like the triangular portion. Oh, that is stay great. away! No! Oh my goodness! <laughs> are you alright? No, he, he, yes, he's perfectly fine. Oh, man. No, this is fine. I'm fine. No, she's dying. Yeah. Thank you to Hunt and to Pimpsy. I'm really glad that I got to see it and put it in the in the YouTubes before it was completely destroyed so everybody can, has a chance to see it for themselves. Uh, so thank you for showing me around. It was an awesome tour, awesome base. Good job, Harvester. I hope you don't uh, leave or anything. I hope you keep going and going strong because you guys... Oh my gosh, you do amazing things. So thank you very much for showing me around. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!